This is an unboxing of World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King, a pandemic system game. If you like this video, please like and please subscribe and please take a look at my other videos. Unfortunately, the box was slightly damaged, which is a little unfortunate in this corner back here, but nothing you can do about that when, you know, things are shipped from far away and then through the, through the mail. Oh man, I guess the box was damaged enough where it's hard to even open. This thing really probably landed on it in the warehouse. There we go. So hopefully no board was damaged. Let's see. So here's the rule book. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I think it's a, one of the more complex pandemic games out there. I've heard like the Cthulhu one or similar to the Cthulhu one. Yeah, so fortunately there's a, a little insert here. There's a board which we'll look at. So we have these... Uh, uh, Kind of a stand-up, uh, I forget the name of it, uh, Nax, and some other tokens. I think it looks good. The artwork's very uh, World of Warcraft-esque. We'll look at the board here in a minute. It's got a bunch of miniatures. Wow, this is cool. So, unlike most Pandemic games, there's some really cool miniatures. Actually, this is a really, really awesome-looking miniature. And we have heroes it looks like so you can choose from different famous world of warcraft heroes it looks like which is cool and the miniatures are pretty well done i mean they're you've got nice detail i think you're probably going to see people painting these things and they're going to look amazing I don't, I don't remember what dwarf this is, but he is a cool looking dwarf. And I don't know who this one is. Again. But I think good looking miniatures. We have, oh, this is awesome. So we have these guys, which I think I remember from, uh, from Nax. We have some dice and some tokens to mark things. And then we have, let's see what these are. These are all, oh, ghouls it looks like, I think. So, undead, put those back in there. So that's really cool. I didn't, uh, I didn't even expect a bunch of miniatures. We have a number of cards and we have some, looks like player sheets. Let's see, or maybe, I don't know. So we have the Nexus, the Vault. Oh, so this is where you're gonna you're gonna have to track things. Old Or, Nax. So maybe these are like quests you have to do. And then here's your heroes: Jane Proudmore, Lady Diedrin, uh Muradin, Sylvanas, Thrall, uh, Tyrion, and Varian. So that's cool that you get your heroes, like all World of Warcraft themed. You get uh, some really cool miniatures. And then we have some cards. So let's see what's in these card packs. Fight. So, and these are all fight cards, but each one has different art on them, which is which is nice, a nice touch. All different fight cards. Even the same numbers have different defend. So that is that is cool, although I guess it makes it a little bit hard to know what cards are from the pictures, but I do like the touch that they didn't just uh, put the same art on every card. Travel and heal. Looks good. So I guess you have health counters for each of your characters in this game. So you're gonna, it's kind of, I guess, and it, yeah, right there, we have, we have health. So I guess it's like kind of an adventure-ish game with an, around the pandemic system, which I think I would enjoy a lot when I get, get a chance to play this. 
So I don't know what these are. Place one stronghold on any space or quest. So I don't know how this works. The scourge rises. So these are cards borrowed time. You allies one quiet night. So these are very similar. These are like special events. And this must be where people spawn. So there's going to be. So this is kind of like um, Fall of Rome, where guys are going to spawn from various spots and kind of march out. And then. So maybe it's a combination of the Rise of Cthulhu and the Fall of Rome, because it does have dice in it, which is just like the Fall of, Fall of, or the Pandemic Fall of Rome. Now we'll look at the board, which I've got high hopes for. The quality of the board looks okay, um, but I guess with all these miniatures and stuff, they had to they couldn't upgrade everything. And let's try to unfold this without. We'll see how much we can fit on the. Uh, on the camera here so so it's got basically a map of Azeroth and we can fit part of it on there uh, the board looks okay I don't think the board looks amazing but it probably works um, cool so there we go so there you have it that is what comes in World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King if you like this video please like and please subscribe and please take a look at our other videos. Thank you.